First of all, we ask for the protection of our Lord Jesus Christ, so that we may have thought only of him. And understand in his presence, Jesus intended this message for us. Soul of Christ, sanctify me, body of Christ, save me, blood of Christ, get me drunk, water from Christ's side, wash, passion of Christ, comfort me. Good Jesus hear me, inside your wounds, hide me, don't let me drift away from you, from the evil enemy, stand up for me, at the hour of my death, call me, and command me to come to you, that with your saints I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Message from St. Michael the Archangel January 15, 2024 Beloved children of the Most Holy Trinity, I am sent to illuminate the timetable and action of mankind. Stay, being fulfillers of our King's teachings, and Lord Jesus Christ, and of our Queen and Mother. From the apex with which I look at humanity, I find the emptiness of God's love, and instead what I find in the hearts of the Uma creatures, it's a distorted concept of love. What should govern the heart of every human creature? It is the same love of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. They find themselves devoid of love. They maintain a faint notion of what divine love is. Instead, they live with worldly love debauchery being the spice, main, they have forgotten the divine, diving into the insinuations that the devil whispers in the ear of human creatures, until love does not reign in the human creature in likeness, from our King and Lord Jesus Christ, they will continue to live on crumbs, being shadows that wander in search of what they don't possess. They've gone deep on what not they will be able to face. No radical change on current schedule from each one of you on the road to the most difficult times they will face. As humanity, in the midst of the onslaught of war, the one they know is the main objective, who wields power about the nations, new nations. They add to the advance of the war, the death of so many human creatures, it causes great pain to our King and Lord Jesus Christ and to our Queen and Mother, being the Divine Hand, the one that will stop with great hardness the pretensions of the powerful who desire exterminate much of the world's population they're going to be limited in the free, acting and acting. The disease came, and with it, limits are imposed in several countries. So get ready now. Those who can't prepare materially, keep the faith. May our Queen and Mother, it will bring them what they need so that they may continue without faltering. Pray, children, from our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that the greatest number of human creatures will penetrate the earth, divine love stereo, and achieve salvation. 
Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Humanity will know about pain once again. Pray, they will continue to live the scourge because of the force of nature. Pray, for Mexico, shudders. Darkness is coming. Stay, with firm faith, being more of Christ. What about the mundane? Pray, not to falter. Receive my blessing. Saint Michael the Archangel. Hail Mary, most pure without sin conceived. Hail Mary most pure, sinlessly conceived. Hail Mary, most pure without sin conceived. Siblings. Saint Michael the Archangel leads us to be aware of when it happens. Right now. And the seriousness of what is expected. But at the same time. To reflect on the responsibility that each one of us has. Inside salvation history. Knowing that the earth will continue to shake. That there will be drastic changes. And that nature woke up. For the human creature to react. Let's be part of the human creatures who say yes goodbye. Keeping the faith. Growing.